Well, it's time we ripped statistical stretch out of Pix Insight and allowed everybody to use it. Welcome to SETI Astro. So when stretching from a linear to a nonlinear state, there's a, a, a number of different options out there, some of which are a lot more user-friendly to use than others, and a lot of them are subject to kind of what the user wants out of their image, right? Uh, a while ago, I had developed statistical stretch within PixInsight that uses the statistical properties of the image itself to determine how to dynamically stretch from a linear to a nonlinear state for a, a good initial stretch based off the image itself. And then from there, you can use your artistic tweaks to adjust contrast, uh, highlights, lowlights, th things of that nature. The problem is it's uh, stuck in PixInsight. So I'm, I'm in PixInsight now, I have my image up, I can refresh the preview, it's going to run statistical stretch for me. And we can, you know, adjust the target median, move a curves boost, and then and then execute it on the target. So now our image is in a, a non-linear state, ready to be further processed. I had a number of requests back then to make this a standalone application. I did not have the knowledge yet in order to do that, but that day has come. I've changed my website around a little bit to handle more of these uh, programs as I'm making them. Now under SETIastro.com, you can find Astro programs. There will be Cosmic Clarity, What's in My Sky, and Statistical Stretch. Go ahead, click st Statistical Stretch, and uh, it'll bring up just a simple page here for you. It's the same amazing stretching solution that's been implemented in PixInsight. And uh, get it today. Just click here. It'll take you to my drive, and uh, from there, you know, choose your choose your operating system. When you download it, you should have a, a good executable there uh, for statistical stretch. So let's go ahead and fire it up. Just double clicking the executable pulls up this window. It looks very similar to the script within PixInsight. I do have a little set of instructions here. Uh, the main thing, select your image, right? It can take PNGs, TIFFs, and FITS files. So it should cover most types of images you're going to be processing out there, whether you're processing in Serial or directly in something like Photoshop or Affinity. It can take 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, unsigned integer, floating point. It, it really pretty broad at the um, types of PNG fits or TIFFs it can accept. But I loaded the image in here. It's, you know, it shows the path to your image. Click preview stretch. And there off in the right is your preview. Uh, you can drag it around. I do have zoom in and out buttons for you. And then I also have the apply curves boost, just like in the script in PixInsight. You can lower the, the target median down. This is a galaxy. You probably want a curves boost. We could redo the preview on the stretch. And then when you're satisfied with the stretch, click save stretched image. And now you can go ahead and save it back as a PNG, as a TIFF, as a FITS. I'm just test.tiff. And um, and it's saved. It'll say image saved. In this case, test.tiff right here. Uh, at that point, you can close out the program, or you know you can you can select a different image if you're working multiple images at once. Here's another one. Uh, I'll just redo the the preview stretch here. This is a, a huge cluster of galaxies I've been imaging. We can zoom in. You know, if you're if you're satisfied with that stretch again, you can go ahead and save the stretched image. And in my case, I'm just going to overwrite the uh, the TIFF file there. 
and now we can see when we open it up here's our, our nicely stretched linear to nonlinear image so I think this is a I think this is going to be a big win for a lot of people out there that have been struggling with GHS or arc sign stretching uh, to, to bring the power of statistical stretch to everybody that's not using PixInsight. Well, I, I hope you guys are liking these, uh, these programs as I'm making them for a broader audience out there outside of PixInsight. If anybody has any other ideas of things I should be working on or what, what could help the community more, uh, keep bringing them up. As always, I'm very thankful for my channel members uh, that you know give me a lot of great feedback and, and try out a lot of these things as they're getting developed. Please comment, like, and subscribe.